Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. Thank you for joining me. It is such a beautiful day that I just could not resist coming out here with Father and just uh, enjoying all of uh, his handiwork. Oh, it is so nice out here today. It is so nice out here today. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is very nice. Oh, wow. Very nice out here today. God is so good. Isn't he good, brothers and sisters? He is so good. And, uh, you know, I just got to stop to just, you know, just... Oh, glory, hallelujah. Give him glory today. You know, I got to give him glory because, you know, let me tell you something, my brothers and my sisters. Father never allows a devil to get over on me. Do you hear what I'm telling you? He never allows a devil to get over on me. And, I'm, and, I, and what I want you to know, I, I wanted to tell you that and I wanted you to know that if you trust in him, if you trust in him, if you really, really, really trust in him, he will not allow a devil to get over on you all either. You understand what I'm saying? I'm here to tell you because, you know, the enemy has so many tricks up his sleeve that I tell you, if you don't trust in Jesus Christ to just, you know, navigate your lives and be the captain of your ships as you um, sail through life or walk through life or however you choose to view it, I tell you what, the devil will eat you alive. You will not have a spiritual eye. You will not, you know, or you may have one, but it won't be any use to you because it, because it won't be activated. You know what I'm saying? You have to walk in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And you have to put on the whole armor of God. If you don't put on the whole armor of God, I'm telling you, the devil will destroy you. He will destroy you because you won't have that spiritual protection. You know what I'm saying? And you may not even know if you're coming or going if you don't uh, have on the whole arm of God uh, with the way that the devil is uh, shooting fiery darts at the children of God in these last days. And, and you know, always someone trying to um, manipulate situations and, uh, you know, Lord have mercy. It's just so much going on in this world today. But I'm telling you what, if you trust Jesus Christ, you don't have to worry about it. You know, and there may, may be those of you out there um, Perhaps you've lost your mothers, you've lost your fathers, you've lost uh, loved ones and friends. You know, some of you out there may not have anybody. Some of you may actually be out there living on the streets. I'm sure there are. You're living, you're living on the streets. You don't have a stable home. Uh, some of you may be um, in shelters or whatever. And um, it just seems like you just can't find your way. It's like when you think that things are going to work out for you all, it, it just seems like it just does not fall through, you know, and you're getting tired of praying to God. Some of you don't even pray to God at all because you feel like that your prayers are going unheard. They're being unanswered. But let me tell you something. Jesus walked down here. You understand what I'm saying? He walked down here. You know, he lived like we live. He may not live like we live in this modern day society, but he he knows he, got, he knows what life is like down here. You understand the struggles of life and things of that nature. And I want you to know that um, he didn't lay up treasures down here. If that's any uh, help to anybody today. He didn't lay up any treasures down here. And he had no specific home. You know what I'm saying? Jesus was down here on a mission. You understand? He was down here on a mission. And that mission was to save our souls. To save our souls from eternal damnation. And that's why he was here. And you know, and there's a reason why Father God said, you know, don't uh, lay treasures up for yourselves down here on earth. Because they can fall into corruption. And thieves can break through and steal. You know, for, you know, wherever um, your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You understand? Wherever your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And so God just wants you to be focused on his kingdom. I mean, he wants you to 
be successful down here as well, yes. But um, his sole focus is your soul and making sure that no devil takes your crown. Do you understand what I'm saying today? He Make sure no devil takes your crown because I'm telling you, Satan has a, whoo, he has so many uh, tricks up his sleeve. He has so many tricks in his bag. And, you know, <coughs> there's some people in this world, you know, they're, they're just, um, it seems as if they're good for nothing, but trying to serve as a obstacles and stumbling blocks in somebody else's way. But I'm here to tell you, God has got that number because see, what the devil failed to realize is that before he can even set a plan in motion, that God Almighty has already established your victory. Before the devil can set a plan in motion, God Almighty has already established your victory because your victory is within our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And what God wants you to know is that when you give it to God, when you give it to Jesus, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about anything that uh, a devil thinks that he or she or they are doing behind your back. You don't have to worry about plots and schemes. You don't have to worry about people behind your back mocking you because they think that they are doing something behind your back you're not aware of. And they think that you're looking like fools or they think you're being played as fools when they are the fools. They're the ones that are so dumb, they fail to realize, what they fail to realize is that while they are in the process of doing what they feel is their dirt against you, God has somebody else doing dirt against them. So they're actually reaping what they've, they, they sow as they sow. Come on, can I talk out here today? Can I talk out here today? You know, and I know that people... You know, many of you out there, you've been done real dirty by some dirty people. You've been done real dirty, you know, and, you know, nobody deserves to be disrespected like that if they're a good person, you know, and, um, but that's who the devil is. So you can never lose sight and never lose focus of who the devil is. The devil is dirty. Do you understand what I'm saying? The devil is dirty. There's no other word to describe him. You know, and we've just got people in this world that lack integrity, okay? They lack integrity, and um, that's just the way it is. They lack integrity. But you have to keep and maintain your integrity because see, a lot of times uh, in spiritual warfare, Satan may be attacking you all because what he's really trying to attack is your character. He always wants you to come out of character. He always wants you to come out of your element. He wants you to react to things that are not worth reacting to. Because you know what? If you trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, then you should already know that Jesus Christ has al already taken you through. You understand? Jesus did not come down here to live, suffer, and die for nothing. Jesus didn't die for nothing. He died to give you the victory. You understand what I'm saying? He died so that you could have the victory over all the works of the devil. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus came to give you the victory because I'm telling you, you're not going to get it any other way. If Jesus don't give you the victory, you will not have it. Your victory is in Jesus Christ. I don't care what anybody has done to you. It could be a spouse. It could be your children. It could be false friends. It could be um, relatives. It could be family members because, you know, there is a difference. But let me tell you something. Jesus Christ is the solid rock by which you should stand because all other ground is sinking sand and I know what I'm talking about so you be encouraged in the Lord I don't care what it is that the devil thinks that he's doing to you all today it will not prosper God Almighty said no weapon form shall prosper I think some people forget that God is sitting on the throne some people actually forget that there's a God that sits on high and looks on low. And I know there are many, many of you out there, you've been done real dirty by some dirty folk. Real dirty by some dirty folk. And sometimes it's not even about, you know, it, it really I think it's like, how can I put it? It's not that what the people or the persons planned against you fell through for them. It's just the intent, the intent in their heart. They intended to do something. 
to either hurt you all or come up against you all. And God wasn't going to have it. I'm telling you that when nobody else in this world has your back, God Almighty has your back. I know what I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? You've got people running around on this planet. They think they can just disrespect people. And I mean, you know, I look at it this way. How a person choose to live their lives, that's their business. But you don't involve other people. You know what I'm saying? You don't disrespect the lives of other people. And oftentimes, a lot of times, it'll be people that they don't even know, you know. And sometimes God will put you in a, in a position where you have to show people what you're made of, you know. And oftentimes, you can show them better than you can tell them. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you walk with Jesus Christ, you do not lose. You do not lose. And I don't know about you all, but I don't even have the mindset to even feel like that I lose a battle. I don't lose no battles. I don't lose no battles. No, I don't. No, I don't lose no battles. Because I know that Jesus Christ is where victory is. Your victory is in Jesus Christ. And it's not in any other source because God sees everything. And the last thing that he is going to allow to happen to his children is have them be or become the laughing stock in the presence of a pack of devils. Good God Almighty, can I get a witness out here today? Can I get a witness out here today? The last thing that God is going to allow to happen is for a devil to try to make a fool out of one of his children because I'm telling you, when you mess with God's children, you have messed up. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you mess with a child of God, you have messed up. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. When you mess with a child of God, you've messed up. And that's the way it is. It's straight like that. You know? So don't worry about anything that the devil's doing, plotting, scheming. Just let, just, just let Satan be Satan. And you let God be God. And you give God the glory always. Always and forever because I'm telling you, he is worthy. Yes, Lord, he is worthy. And see then, when you give it to him, you don't have to get your hands dirty. And by that I mean... You don't have to step out of your element, your character. You can remain cool, calm, collective. You can keep your um, composure. You can keep your sophistication. You can keep your, um, your status. You can keep your image. You can keep everything. Because I'm telling you, there's not a devil out there that will come up against a child of God and God won't take them down. God is going to take them down. I mean, they may as well just get ready. I know they may not believe it. And these words, they may not want to receive it, but I'm here to tell you. I have been young and now I'm old. And I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of people take that scripture and be like, oh, well, you know, they, they take it literally. You could take it literally or you could take it spiritually. Because we know that God says, give us, uh, that the prayer says, give us this day our daily bread. You know, so people have different interpretations of how they feel the scriptures what the scriptures mean you take it I guess for however it resonates in your life you know what I'm saying but anyway just uh I don't know give it to Jesus and he will make it all right that's that's all I can say if you give it to Jesus he will make it all right look things are blooming things are blooming father God's handiwork Look at Busy B. Look at Busy B. Hey Busy B. Hey Busy B. What are you doing? Hey Busy B. God is amazing. Look what he created. Look what God Almighty created. Not no aliens. Not no bit boom. I'm talking about God Almighty. I'm talking about the one that said let there be light. And see, there is the light. The devil is a lie. Talking about there is no God. The fool hath said in his heart that there is no God. The fool hath said in his heart that there is no God. This is a beautiful day. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And there are those of you that can be out and about and enjoy it today. And I'm here to tell you there's a devil on this planet, most likely, that didn't want you to live to see it. 
There's a devil on this planet that, that didn't want you to succeed. But to God be the glory. You understand? Because the devil, he can't tell your story. You understand? Because he didn't write your story. So he, he didn't write your beginning and your ending. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. Not the devil. You understand what I'm saying? There's not a devil from hell nor a devil walking about on this earth that will ever get the victory over a true child of God. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Jesus did not shed his blood for no reason. He didn't shed his blood for no reason. You understand what I'm saying? He shed his blood so that we could have the victory. You understand? So that's pretty much all I have in me to give today. And uh, in closing, I will just say once again that Jesus Christ is the solid rock by which we all should stand because all of the ground is sinking sand. And with that said, God bless you all. Until next time, bye-bye.